Hello, my fellow Bakugan Battle Brawlers. Uh, I have here for you today, uh, I think one of the hardest to get DECAs, in my opinion, because one, I live in Canada, and this here was never released, unfortunately. Same with the darkest uh, Feral DECA with its Bakugan gear, that was never released here in Canada. Uh, I'm pretty sure they were only released in Target stores in America, um, also in Australia, I believe, in whatever stores they have there. Do they have Targets? I don't know. Uh, but this came from Australia. Um, I think it was released alongside Darkest Feral, I'm pretty sure. Um, no indication of any other DECAs in this set. Um, but yeah. A DECA Orlis trucks, uh, with Baku gear. Um, and also regular mini trucks. Regular size trucks with... Back of gear as well. Um, so explosive deck of back of back of gear. Um, yeah. So this comes with uh, Orlis. So actually, let's take a look at here. This tells us what all it comes with. So this includes one Bakugan Deca, one character card, uh, one ability card, one Jumbo Baku Core. Oh yeah, one Bakugan Deca, one Baku Deca Gear Deca. One Baku gone, one Baku gear, two Baku cores. Yeah, so apparently, so this is our first, not our first, one of two, um, core Baku gone with Baku gear, which is pretty interesting, I will say that. Uh, and why they picked an Orlis Trox and a Darkest Feral, I don't know. Why didn't do Ventus Trox and a Orlis Feral? Who knows? Um... But yeah, someone let me know actually how rare this is. This was like the first one and only eBay listing I found of this guy when it popped up. Um, so I swooped it up because I know this was stupid hard to get. And there's like a million, not a million, but there's like lots of Darkest Feral cores. Uh, Deca, Baku cores, Baku gear uh, out there. Uh, but there's like none of him. So I made sure to watch for him and get him. Um, so let's take him out, let me take him out of the packaging, and let's get on with the review. Alrighty, so I do have him here now, out of the packaging. Um, and first things first, before we get to the main, uh, attraction, let's look at the cores that come with. First, regular trucks, um, plus 150 B power and plus one damage, uh, green fist and plus 150 B power shield. Not really the best. And trucks here, um, Bakugan, Arbor Alliance, uh, Baku core, uh, BKC trucks, 199 AV is his code. And here's pretty much just his, uh, character card on here, as you can see, whoop, right there. Orlis Trox, uh, uh, Shield and Green Fist, base 600, B power, base 5 damage. And he comes with, ooh, this is a new one to me, Lumi, Lumi Blasters, Lumis Blasters? Lumis Blasters for 6 energy costs. Um, what the heck? Someone let me know what this symbol is. I've never seen that symbol. Looks like some variation of Baku Gear. This card can be attached to a character as a second back of gear. Oh, I think that's what that means. Ooh. Ooh, this is interesting. Okay, okay, okay. I get what that symbol means. That means two back of gear. So your back of gun, let's say Trox here, already has back of gear on him, right? He's using back of thrusters or something. Um, right? You're in, your, you're in more need of power. Because your opponent, play, they played their back gear or a Geogon or something. Um, you need that little extra B power or a little extra damage, depending. Um, you can go ahead and actually play this as a second Baku gear. Which is uh, pretty nice. It comes in the Fusion Force set as a rare. Um, I've like never really opened Fusion Force. I think I've opened maybe... No, I don't think I've ever opened any Fusion Force cards to my knowledge. I don't remember. I don't think I have. If I had, I've only opened one, maybe. Um, or that was Armored Elite. I think that was Armored Elite I opened up. And I've never opened Fusion Force. So this is a very brand new card to me. As I know pretty much nothing about the set. Because it was never released here in Canada. Um, so yeah, this is a pretty cool card. Six energy cost. That's reasonable being second chance. Be, it can be used as a second back of gear. And you're getting five and five. Which isn't that bad of a power boost. Um... 
So yeah, those are the cards and back of gear they come with. Um, put the cores to the side for a minute. Cards and back of gear, back of cores they come with. Um, first things first, actually, let's go ahead, roll out trucks here. The mini teeny tiny one. Boom, there we go. Um, so first off, new with the deck of Bakugan. They've never come with the regular smaller version of themselves. Um, like they should have. Hello. Never being released in regular size. Um, yeah, so. Uh, let me know if you like them doing that. I think it's pretty nice, even though... Uh, we've already had an Aurelis Trucks be released in some set. I don't exactly remember what he came in. If he was part of a three pack or a five pack, because I'm pretty sure because he wasn't in single, that I don't know. Um, so yeah, so that's a double core for me. Uh, but that doesn't matter because I'll be having this one on display. Um, because he comes with Baku gear. Which, you know, the other one doesn't. And there's only, like, two core Bakugan that have Baku gear. And I only have one of them right now. Uh, I do not yet have me a Darkest Feral. Uh, but there seem to be a dime a dozen on eBay. Not, not that they cost a dime or anything. They're probably, like, 50 bucks. Um, but that's all right. Anywho. First things first. Let's just compare them in regular core mode. Got all this lighting craziness happening everywhere okay um so comparing him first things first you can tell are his eyes like oh my gosh that's the first thing i notice on the deco form like they're more dominant than oh my god i got things sticking to my arm and it's hot and sticky here okay as his eyes ew, okay yeah they're really more dominant here just because i think they have that silver paint um as you know the white part of your eyes which regular trucks here doesn't he just has you know they just did that black for the actual eyeball but they didn't put in that extra work um for that white part of the eye i'm not sure what that's card called exactly um but yeah uh also other obvious thing with deca bakugans uh when comparing them to the regular size ones as the paint job uh they don't use they use less shinier paint uh, paint application for the decas than the small ones probably just to save money or something um also their designs their like whole construction of the design is a bit different uh like say because obviously you can tell by his feet they're not as shiny if you're looking at his feet there um and you know that's silver on his arms these these are more shiny than this one um but yeah so back your spots for him are on the top behind the neck there, which we aren't going to be putting anything today, but we are going to be putting them on his sides here, 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 here. Um, so yeah, obviously screws, you know, they go in deeper. Also, one thing I am noticing, I don't know if it's just this one. Huh. That springs out. Let me open my other one for a second. I'm just noticing his like legs. No, yeah, no, that's what they're supposed to be doing. Because these ones, his legs are going, you know, towards the ground. Which these guys, they're going upwards, upwards a little bit. Which I do find interesting. Um, what else? What's a, what's, what else is a big difference? Yeah, basically, if you're looking at his tail, the Deca one goes out a little bit further. Uh, then the core, um, I guess the whole inside components are slightly different. Um, yeah, cause when they scale these up, they have to change like a few things for whatever reason. I don't know. Uh, yeah. Okay. That's pretty much it comparing them that way. Uh, so now let's go ahead and attach the actual Baku gear, which isn't really too hard. We're just going to put this on his side here, put this on his side here, and that's uh, essentially it. 
So let's go do the same with this one. Oh, wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. This is the same Baku gear that comes with um, Dragonoid, isn't it? Now that I'm noticing it. Hold on, I have a tin of Baku gear here. Not a tin, but a plastic container. Yeah. This is the same. It comes. This comes with uh, Dragonoid Ultra. Um, just the paint app is slightly different. Let me compare. Let me let me let me show you. This comes with Orlis Dragonoid Ultra, and um, this this thing. You're right. I don't have my Orlis Dragonoid Ultra. Yes, I do. I have it here somewhere. Uh, it's not in this. And this is it. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Here's my Dragonoid. Yeah. Yeah, because he has him, you know, up here. Where's the other one? There it is. Up here. And then, boom, Pyro Cannon, or Orless Cannon, whatever this one is called. Um, but yeah, also, the, the wing on my guy is kind of messed up, but... Uh, because it goes higher than usual. But yeah. Um, yeah, so Trox comes with Dragonoids. Dragon Ultras um, cannons, or they're calling them Lumi Lumis Blasters. I don't know. Uh, that is something I just noticed because I thought it looked familiar. Um, but yeah. All right, so now we know. I guess they maybe they accidentally, you know, had extras of these. I don't know. Because if we take a look at the one from Trox, took a one look at the one from Dragonoid, they're slightly different um, in terms of plastic. If you can see here, Dragonoid has a darker and tr more translucent uh, black plastic, where and shiny gold, and like that shiny gold, um, which to Trox's uh, back of gear here is kind of a gray. Uh, gray non-translucent plastic, and it's like a spray-painted gold, as opposed to, I think, whatever nice metallic -y paint they use on the Dragonoid one here. Um, if you can see that, see that there. Um, so that is something pretty interesting. Um, pretty interesting. Alright. Um, so yeah, um, I guess we can take take this put it up here i don't know that looks weird or maybe not having have it as the back yeah i'll just do that boom there we go now he has a head head laser on him you can do that i guess just give him the one um but yeah that's that is pretty interesting how they took dragonoid ultras um Back of gear and gave it to Trox Core that or an Orlis Trox Core. What decisions they make to do the decos as an Orlis Trox Core with Orlis Dragonoid Ultras uh, back of gear? I have no idea who made that decision and thought process, but that's pretty interesting. Um, anywho, that's pretty much going to be it for this video. Uh, sorry if it's kind of long or rambled on, I don't know, uh, but we are going to end it off with a booster pack from Age of Orlis because Orlis Bakugan and it is one of the only three sets available here in Canada. Uh, we only have access at the moment to Battle Brawlers, Resurgence, and Age of Orlis. No other sets, unfortunately. Um, so let's go ahead, open up a pack of this and see if we can get anything good. All right. We have Darkus, Titan Gorthion, Vacuum, uh, Mysterious Mist. Chaos, uh, Suplex. Chaos Laser. Another Mysterious Mist. Alright, I don't think you really have ever gotten two cards, the same cards in the same pack before. That's interesting. Um, Ventus Hyper Scorpros Ultra. A. Sonic Chain. As a Super Rate and 4 Hour Hex. We have Ventus Titan Zentor. 
Um, okay. I don't think we got anything super good uh, out of this. Destroy it, Nuva Orla's power, blah, blah, blah. I mean, A, maybe. Posing back on have minus one damage. That could be useful as resurgent, re resurgence, reassurance. Um, we got two copies of Mysterious Mist, which is interesting and kind of cheap. Um, we did get one Orlis card, Vacuum Wave, whoop de doo zero. Eh, stop, stop Orlis. I mean, that's not, eh, not, mm, that's like iffy. Uh, I'm to on Anywho. Yeah, if you did enjoy this here video on the Deca Trucks Ultra with Baffle Gear in the regular sized trucks core, not trucks Ultra, they're trucks cores, they're core trucks Bakugan, um, with Deca sized, you know, Dragonoids Baku Gear here for whatever reason. Um, uh, please leave a like, comment thoughts on them down below. Subscribe and turn that bell notification on so you know when my next video goes up. Till next time, my fellow Bakugan Battle Brawlers, have fun battling, brawling, collecting. Uh, just remember to stay safe, wash your hands, wear a mask, practice your rolls, and until next time, sign off.